guys welcome to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe share likes and watch this video this will help you a lot to pass any kind of exam well it's board exam math teachers board exam and at the same time in your country as well okay let's proceed for the number 38 this is the problem which of the following statement is true that line passes through negative 2 and 4 and 3 and 4? A, the line has a slope. The line has a negative slope. B, the line has a positive slope. C, the line has undefined slope. D, the line has a zero slope. So, again, let's have draw the x and y axis. What will be the given to negative 2 and 4? So we will draw. This is negative. This is positive. So negative 2 and 4. This one. Negative 2 and 4. And the other one is 3 and 4. So this is 3 and 4. So this is negative 3 and 4. So, if we will uh, draw, automatically it represents a straight line. So, let's try to recall our past lesson or past previous when you are in high school. What will be the rule of the line? So, this is considered as a positive. A line passes through this one from left to right. This is negative, and this is a vertical line, is what you call undefined. And the other one is, this is what you call zero. So the answer is letter D. This is what you call the zero slope. Okay, let's proceed to number 39. What will be our problem for number 39? Which of the following is the square of 3x minus 2 or quantity 3x minus 2? When we speak about square, this will be the 3x minus 2 squared. So this will become 3x minus 2 multiplied by 3x minus 2. This will become positive 4. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. If you will multiply this one, this will become negative 6x. Negative 6x, right? Negative 6x times 6x is negative 12x. Okay. So the answer is letter C. So now let us see. All you have to do is use the FOIL method. Okay, FOIL method. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Negative 2 times negative 2. Positive 4. 3. Negative 2 times 3x will be negative 6x. Negative 3x. Or 3x times negative 2 will become negative 6x. So the answer is letter C. Okay, let's have number 40. Number 40. This is our problem number 40. Where is our number 40 here? 40. Number 40, number 40, number 40. Where is our number 40? Okay, number 40. Okay. Which of the following solution of the 5x plus 3y is equals to negative 7? 5x. 5x plus 3y negative 7. All you have to do is to sub this one as an x. Okay, 5 times 1, 
3 times is negative 2. Is that negative 7? 6 plus negative 6? No. This is not. So, 5 times is negative 2. 3 times is 1. Negative 7. Negative 10 plus 3. Is that negative 7? Yes. The answer is letter B. That's the only solution for that. You have to put all the best answer for that. That is the easiest way. So that is answer for number 40. Okay. Let's proceed to number 41. This is the problem. It is a variable, is an equation that can be written in the form ax plus by is equal to c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. A quadratic equation, b linear equation, c cubic equation, and letter d polynomial equation. When we speak about quadratic, when we speak about quadratic, this is quadratic, right? Quadratic means 2. When we speak cubic, it's represent as 3 plus 5, so on. But when we speak about linear, x plus y is equals to uh, 5, suppose. So it means to say, if I had 3x plus 4y is equals to 2. This is considered as linear. Why? Because it composed the x, uh, x coordinate and y coordinate. So the answer is letter B. Okay. Let's proceed for number 42. Okay, where is number 42? What is the 20th term of 5, 10, 15, 20? So, okay, when we speak the term, an is equals to a1, n minus 1 times the common difference. Where a1 is the first term. Our first term is 5, and n is 20, and our d is the common difference. So, 20 minus 15 is 5. All you have to do is to substitute 5, 20 minus 1 times 5. So the answer is 5 plus 19 times 5. So the answer is five, 19 times 5 is 95. 95 plus 5 is 100. So our ends of n is 100 so the answer is the answer is letter b take note so 20 minus 1 times the 5 this is the formula all you have to do is to substitute and solve the answer is 100 and the best secret way that is just multiply 5 times 20 is automatically 100 that is the shortcut method. Okay, let's have number 43. Let's have number 43. Where is our number 43? What is the lowest term of x squared minus 9, x squared minus x minus 6? So we have x squared minus 9, x squared minus x minus 6. So, what will be our common factor? We have x plus 3 and then x minus 3. Because x times x is x squared. Positive 3 times negative 3 is we have negative 9. And what will be the factor for this one? If this is mostly by 3. So, think of the number x plus 2. Is that correct? Negative 3 times positive 2, negative 6. 
negative 3 plus 2 will become negative 1. x times x will become x squared. And then you will cancel. The answer is x plus 3 over x plus 2. So the answer is letter C. So the answer is letter C, x plus 3 divided by x plus 2. So that, what, that is the way. Okay, let's proceed for number 44. Can we have a 44? Let's proceed for the number 44. You have a 44? 44. Okay, this is the problem. Twice a number is increased by 12 is equal to 50. What is the number? Suppose twice let x or means to say twice increase this is increase by 12 is equals to 50 so if we will change this one 2x is equals to 50 minus 12 so 50 minus 12 is what i think this will become 38 is that correct Divided by 2x, divided by 2, divided by 2. So 38 divided by 2. The answer is 19. So the number is missing is 19. Take note. 19. So our x will be 19. That's only simple. You should know what is twice a number, so that is 2x. And then, number 45. Let's have number 45. Solve for the linear equation. Okay, linear equation. This is already two given. Okay. Solve for the linear equation, 3x minus 4y is equals to 12. 2x plus 4y is equals to 3. So let's try to have this one. 3x minus 4y is equals to 12. While 2x plus 4y is equals to 3. If you think this is already negative 4y. All you have to do is to cancel. Then after that. You will write 5x. 12 plus 3 will become 15. Divided by 5. Divided by 5. And x, 15 divided by 5, we have 3. Okay. And then after that, we substitute any of these two. Let's try to write 3 times 3 minus, in order to get the 4y is equals to 12. So 9 minus 4y is equals to 12. How do we get the 4y? Negative 4y is equals to 12. And transpose 9 minus 12. Again, so negative 4y. 12 minus 9 is 3. And the answer is 3 negative 4. So the answer is 3 and negative 4. What's the best answer? It's the answer is letter B. So, that will be our number 45. Do we have number 46 or do we need to have a break time? And let's try to proceed for this one. This is number 46. Okay. Raise again. This is number 46. This is a addition of algebraic expression. 2x over uh, 2x divided by 3 plus 5xy divided by 7. And what will you do is to get first the LCD of 3 and 7. So the LCD of 3 and 7 is 21. 21. So the given, write the given first. Okay. 21 divided by 3. A7, right, times 2x, 
21 divided by 7 is 3. Multiply, this is y. 5x plus y. This is the given. Eh? Correct. And then, you multiply, this is 14x plus 15xy over 21. So, let's have, what's the answer? Is there any number? The answer is letter B. So, first, you need to get the LCD. And then, after that, you multiply, then add. So, this will be our final answer. Okay, let's have 47. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Don't forget again in my uh, seventh video. I think you have already done and learned anything from this month. Thank you. And we will proceed for the next video.